three, two, one. Two zero complete. So there you are. Mag 3 has a little bit of AI put into it as an assistant. It's, I suppose, a bit of a gimmick, really. But um, I thought you guys might uh, might like it. So that's what I've done. I've wrote the program. To Not that bit of the program. <laughs> so yes, I've wrote the um, program to go into Mac 3 to enable it to assist you by talking, letting you know what uh, what's going on. Just something that's a little bit different and um, a little bit gimmicky, I know, but uh, some people may like it. From the last video where I actually made this on the CNC router, all I've actually done is drilled two holes here. Uh, four, actually, there were four millimeter holes and uh, I've threaded this one. So I've got a little grub screw there and I've just put the wire in and peeled, you know, peel, peeled the uh, insulation back, folded it over, twirled it, and put it in there, grub screw in, tighten it up. Now, you need to recognize which one is a ground, earth. Okay, so that's this wire here with blue strike on it. And this one is a plain grey lead. It's the only type of wire that I had um, at the time. I will get some better wire. I want to get a, a bit of a curly wire. I will hook it up. I do have spare wires up here. Um, but I wanted to hook this up as a test and get it all working uh, prior to actually uh, wiring it into the spare wires on here and having some area to uh, clip this to. Okay, so two wires go down into the electronic box down in here and I'll show you where it connects up to in there. Okay, so here we are in the electronic box and yeah, there's a lot of wires around. Um, you know, I'm still working on this so it's a little untidy and sort of not tied up but um, you know over the next few months it will be tidied up and look professional okay so here is that lead that's coming in all right so gray and gray and blue okay so it comes up here now this is the important bit i hope this is being picked up here, I don't think it is. Let me get a bit of light up, more light up in there. Okay, that's better. So, there's that. Oh, where are we? Here it is. Okay, so here it splits here. Now, the grey lead, which is you could call this the live, right, goes to number four on this particular board. Okay. And the grey and blue lead goes in here to the earth. This is the common earth which goes into this earth here with this white one. Okay, now those earths are connected to all the earths on the limit switches and actually the ground of the machine. That last bit when I say the ground of the machine, in other words, this crocodile clip, all right, which is the blue and grey lead, which is the common ground, is actually connected to the, the ground of the machine, but it's directly coupled up into uh, the so, sort of the electronics then. Um, in turn, it's the same ground as the limit switches as well. So all the grounds are all interlinked, okay, whether it be, you know, the sort of drivers for the stepper motors, or the limit switches, or even the spindle. It's all the same ground 
earth. So if you mix these wires up, it just won't work. Okay? It just won't work at all. So it's important to, to get your ground feed in the right place. Okay? And on the right side then. Okay. Now, a lot of people say to me uh, on machines that I have had um, that I just had a puck put down, set the tool auto zero, comes down, touches off the puck, and it registered. Now, people are asking me why that is and why I haven't got it on this one. Okay, simple answer. This is a more expensive uh, router head or spindle and it has ceramic bearings. So having ceramic bearings, there is a possibility there's no direct connection between the actual output shaft, this shaft, rotor, right, and the rest of the body of the machine, the earth. Okay, other spindles that I've had it's been standard high-speed ball races where the likelihood of a, an earth connection through to the output shaft then is 99%. Uh, with ceramic bearings, there's no chance. Okay, because these motors don't have brushes, so there's no actual contact with the, the, the center rotor itself. Uh, it relies on three phase eddies, okay? That is magnetic field eddies or waves as it were to pull the rotor around. It's quite complex so I won't actually explain any further than that other than there is no metal to metal or direct contact with the rotor and the body or earth in any way. So that is why you have to introduce an earth onto the tool. Then, uh, then operate your tool zero and it will come down and make a, make a connection between this and this given earth. Okay, so that's the explanation for that. Okay, so for the next stage of, of this, I suppose, setting up, uh, we need to go down to the office because there's quite a bit of explanation of what I actually did to make Mac 3 respond and talk to you. Now, I will tell you at this stage, the script that I've modified uh, has been taken from many different existing scripts and I have added in to make it safer and to make it talk. And that script has taken many, many hours, more than 40 hours of computer work to get it right. So that script with the accompanying uh, voice is only available to patrons. Once I have proven it to be safe, it is safe because it's using um, several different um, pre-made scripts from uh, other devices. Um, and I have added in to that. So that will be available for patrons only. So follow me into the office and I'll show you roughly how that program was made.